A24, though, man, they make good stuff. Uh, a film I didn't get to, Souvenir Part 2, but you did. And so I wanted to just kind of pick your thoughts. As it wasn't released in many theaters, right? 15 theaters this past weekend after three Ooh. the previous weekend. So a very platform, uh, intentionally limited release from A24. And we, we both, I think, really, I, I wouldn't say really liked, but I think we appreciated and found the souvenir from 2019 to be a really competently made um, film that also just, I, I think, surprised me for just how, like, gutting it felt at times. And especially with, um, uh, who was the star on? Honor, Sw- Honor Swinton Byrne, obviously, giving uh, one of her first, like, star performances. So. Right did part two live up to the souvenir part one? Yeah. So, I mean, it stands out right away as one of the rare indie film sequels, right? It's yeah. not, not, not something we, we think of all that much, right? I guess you have like link, uh, link letters before trilogy comes to mind, but mm-hmm. other than that, there's the, the, the rare, right. But also mm-hmm. like a sequel to the souvenir. Interesting. Like you said, it's a movie that, it's definitely impressive, but like you got to like really get absorbed in like what's going on thematically in a movie like that. You know, it's uh, it, it's very specific uh, in Joanna Hogg, semi-autobiographical tale about a young woman in 80s London going to film school while also falling in love. It's, uh, you know, and I think the key difference, though, would be that um you know, spoilers for the souvenir, but uh, Tom Burke's character uh, dies at the end, right? He ODs on, on heroin. He's a heroin addict. Souvenir part two picks us right up with where souvenir part one ends. And it's, uh, what was her name? Julie, Honestwin Burns' character, just kind of yep. uh, dealing with that fallout while also preparing to make her student film that she had talked about in the first film. Uh, and I think what's really fascinating about this movie is how that this is a key change uh, from movie one to two, where Julie kind of scraps her original film plan and decides to basically recreate the plot of the souvenir part one for her mm. student film within the souvenir part two. Very mm. like meta thing going on here. Yeah, and you know, for her film, uh, she creates the set of the apartment of which we spent all that time in in part one. So, if you remember the souvenir, you'll be very like kind of whisked back to what's going on, and it, it, it's pretty fascinating, you know, like having her be this director trying to tell her young performers, her colleagues, and like her you know, her crew how to make her vision happen that just had happened to her in her real life, you know, like weeks prior in the story. And, you know, in terms of like coming of age, like it, it's, it's kind of a fascinating like way to close the loop uh, on this and Joanna Hogg and you know, kind of like reimagining uh, how her film career could have went. She did not start making movies too much older in life, obviously Julie getting a movie made as a film student very different paths here mm-hmm. and yeah just the whole like kind of like memoirness of it it's it's definitely different than the first one because again like you don't have that tom burke presence so you don't have this like key relationship kind of butting heads and and blossoming and then you know fading out like you don't have any of that it's very like postscript of the first movie so it's it's definitely i think a must watch if you've seen the souvenir and uh, it's it's quite audacious and you know uh, ballsy to approach it. I guess a sequel in this manner. Uh, at one point, Robert Pattinson was supposed to have a role in this movie. He had to drop out due to scheduling conflicts. He was replaced with Charlie Heaton. Uh, ends up being a small role. Um, Heaton's fine, good enough. But I mean, obviously, Rob would have elevated his you know ten minutes in the movie, as we know. Yeah. Uh, Joe Alwyn also has a, a small scene in this, but. Um, you know, a lot's uh, rested on Honor Swinton Burns' shoulders because she doesn't have 
Tom Burke sharing so many scenes with her. So it's a lot of mm-hmm. Julie kind of emoting or not emoting, right? So like the movie, both these movies, they don't really tell you how to feel about things. You kind of got to like go with it. You're uh, go with the journey and, and be an active participant, right? So yeah. definitely not for everyone, obviously, but souvenir part two, I mean, I didn't really have any expectations going in because it's like a movie when the, se- the sequel was announced. I was like, oh, huh, interesting. Yeah. And then Pattinson got attached and I was like, oh, interesting. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a it's a fascinating movie, honestly. You know, I, I, I think I, I really appreciate and think it's a brilliant idea to have her uh, make, like making the story of the first one uh, in the second part because it's almost like her or basically is her exploring her trauma in like a very like tangible way you know which exactly is, uh, obviously just a really interesting and intriguing plot device so um love that writing can't wait to check it out um sounds like you give it a at least a watchable mark so i'm mm. excited to see what we get there 